Okay guys, so now that we've got the boring stuff out the way, um, what I'm going to be showing you is how to view charts. Okay, so when you start out, um, not many people know that there is actually online uh, desktop versions where you can view charts. You don't have to download MetaTrader like MT4, MT5 or anything like that. Um, you can actually go online to tradingview.com. So I'll post all the links and the information in the description below. Okay, uh, so as I mentioned, when people first start out, they view you know this chart here and they assume that's all they get to you know use the chart. That's not the case. Okay, so what you need to do is go to tradingview.com. Just type that in your browser on on Google. It doesn't matter. And what you do, um, so once it loads, just click uh, create an account. It should be just over here on the right. Okay, and then once you've got your account created, so I'm just going to go. Um, and set up a completely new chart so we can uh, do this together. Okay, so so that's how you make an account. Um, searching instruments and pairs on the account, okay? Um, so I'm gonna cover the really basic stuff first. If this is boring, just skip ahead a bit. Um, but obviously, a lot of people don't know this stuff and I, I just wanna help you guys um, understand it. So. Um, if we go on stock pair here, you can see the currencies that it offers us. So you can see it says Euro hyphen USD, uh, the pound against the dollar, dollar against the yen, dollar against the Swiss franc, Aussie dollar against the US dollar, and so on. So you can see it here. Okay. They also offer, um, you know, actual stocks to bet against, uh, but we're not going to go over that just yet. So sticking to the currencies, okay. Um, so you can see all of them down here. You can see they each have a unique uh, letter. So it'll be A-U-D-U-S-D. Okay. Now, when people go to search it on TradingView, uh, you know, people might type Australian or something. Uh, sorry for my typos there. Or American dollar. And it's not going to come up. Okay. So you have to follow these codes here. So say we want to look at the euro against the dollar. What we're going to do, we're going to go here, we're going to type E-U-R-U-S-D, just like that. You don't need to put a hyphen in between it. Just smash enter. There you go. And you've got the euro against the dollar on the chart. Okay. And then say, for instance, we want to look at the, let's look at uh, the pound against the dollar. So the pound against the dollar here, what we do is just do this. And there we go. We have the pound against the dollar. Okay, and as you can see, it's fallen um, a bit, but not too much, so we should be fine. Um, okay, so that, that's just covering how to actually search each instrument you want to do. Okay, now, using the charts, it might seem like this makes no sense to you, but by the end of the video, it will make sense to you, I promise you. Um, you know, last thing I want you guys to do is trade blindly, um, as I mentioned before. Say, for instance, you know... Um, so I don't have a premium account yet. That's fine. Um, so we go to technical analysis. Okay, so um, all for the argument's sake, let's just go to uh, the sentiment again. Okay, so I remember when I first started, I had no idea you could look at charts online. I was just basing my trades purely off of this chart here. Okay, uh, I don't know how I even made money. I'm pretty sure I lost some money in the beginning um, doing this like this. Um, but the, the main thing you want to do is avoid looking at this sentiment here. That's not an accurate sentiment. Okay, we're going to create our own sentiment when we when we trade on here. Um, and as I mentioned, just don't trade blindly. I understand that uh, if you put a trade on, you might win the trade. You've got a 50 50 chance of winning. Um, and then last thing I want you to do is you know double the amount you first uh, your initial investment, and then say the you win again. You put all in because you're going to think you're going to win a third time in a row and then you blow the account, you lose the money and then you're going to have to redeposit again and start again. And it's quite frustrating. I know how that feels. It happened to me about four or five times when I first started um, before I really got the hang of it uh, and before I found any useful information out there. Okay. Um, so yeah, don't trade blindly. 